Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make these granny squares. They are three different granny squares. It looks like similar, but they are different. The first one is my favorite. It has double crochet, puff stitches, cluster stitches, and double crochet. The second one has only puff stitches in the three rounds, and the edge has uh, the double crochet. And the last one, it's the popcorn stitches and the edge the double crochet stitches so i am planning to make a crochet bag it's a trendy crochet bag in this moment i like to give you three different options for you pick whatever you like so let's start with the first one i will be using these three three yarns all of them are four number four or worst weight yarn. I recommend cottons for make crochet bags. The crochet hook of five millimeters. So let's start. We have to make a ring of five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Slip a stitch on the first chain to make our ring. Into the ring, you have to make 16 double crochet, okay? My first double crochet is gonna be chains, three chains. This is my first double crochet. So make another 15 double crochet, and that makes the 16 double crochet. Into the ring. 16 double crochet into the ring. I'm gonna switch the other color of yarn. So before I complete my slip stitch on top of these chains, I'm gonna take my other color of yarn. That's how I switch colors, different colors of yarn. So here at the back, you can make a knot. We are going to work between each double crochet. Start with chain three. I'm gonna look for the space between the two um, stitches. One, two, and three. Pull through and chain one. In the next space, do the same. One, two, and three. Chain one. So you're gonna repeat all around until you get the fifth, the sixteen puff stitches. Okay, I complete the 16 puff stitches and then I'm gonna make a slip stitch on top of this but I'm gonna switch the yarn the color of yarn to this one so I'm gonna make my slip stitch like this and we are going to make the cluster stitches so start with chain 3 it counts like one double crochet. Make your first uncompleted double crochet. This is, it looks like a two stitches, right? So we need four, three, and four. Then when you have your four stitches, you can yarn over and pull through. We are going to make two chains and we are going to be doing the same thing in the next space. 
one, two, three, and four. Pull your yarn through the four stitches and then chain two. So keep doing the same thing until you complete your 16 clusters. Okay, 16 cluster stitches, my two chains, and then I'm gonna make the slip stitch, but I'm gonna switch the other color of yarn. I'm gonna take my other color so it looks like a hole here, but I'm gonna make a knot. So start with chain four one, two, three, and four. We're going to make the corner, the first corner, a treble double crochet. So yarn over twice. One, two, three, this is my triple, another one, one, two, and three, chain three, one, two, three, and another three, triple or treble, whatever you call these, one, Two, this is our first corner. Then skip your cluster and work three double crochet. One in the same space. Two and three. And then three half double crochet in the next space one two and three another we uh, come back and make three double crochet one two and three and we are ready to make the other corner with triple crochet stitches three one and this is our second corner so we are going to repeat this until you get your four corners then you wanna make again three double crochet three half double crochet and three double crochet and then the other corner so I almost finished. I'm gonna make a slip stitch on top of my beginning chains. So I just need to fasten up and weight the ends. So let's continue with your second granny square. For the second granny square, I'm gonna use this color for the center. I'm gonna make five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Slip a stitch at the beginning to make the ring. So we need to make eight puff stitches into this ring. I'm gonna make three chains three just to start one two three and four pull through and chain one make eight puff stitches one 
two, three, and four. Pull through and chain one. This is my second. Okay. After this, I'm going to make my slip stitch on top. I'm going to be switching the color of yarn. We are going to make two puff stitches between each space. We have eight spaces. So at the end, we're going to have 16 puff stitches. Chain three. One, two, three. My first puff stitch, uno, one, two, three, four. Another one, two, three, four. They are two. So next space we are going to make the same thing two puff stitches So here I complete my 16 puff stitches. I'm gonna make my slip stitch. I will not uh, switch in the color yarn. For the next, we are going to work between each space. So we are going to make two puff stitches and one puff stitches. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Chain three to start. This is my space. Okay, my first two, then in the next one, I will work only one. One puff stitch, plus my chain one. So this is the pattern, two, one, two, one, two, one, okay? Two and the next just one. So repeat the potter to complete your round. I complete my round. So I'm gonna make my slip stitch on top of this, but I'm gonna be swishing with a crane yarn i'm gonna be working in this space work chain three to start one two three this is like my first double crochet we need three this is one two three chain two and another three double crochet. One, two, and three. So this is my corner, my first, very first corner. So I'm gonna make chain one here, a double crochet, chain one, here a half double crochet chain one here a single crochet and chain one 
So then, a half double crochet and chain one and double crochet, chain one. Then, my other corner of three double crochet. chain two and another three double crochet okay this is the pattern you have to repeat all around until you get your four corner and your four sides okay your corner will be always three double crochet chain two three double crochet then chain one double crochet chain one half double crochet chain one single crochet chain one half double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and your other corner of three double crochet chain two three double crochet okay i'm gonna make my last slip stitch to complete my granny square cut this and there is look how beautiful it is let me show you the difference when you use a different color of yarns in this one i just switch two times between the pop stitches here i switch three times the color of yarns in the pop stitches so whatever you like you can do whatever you like whatever color of yarn you like it for the last one we are going to learn how to make the popcorn granny square start with chain five slips and slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring then we need to work eight half double crochet into the ring i'm gonna make just chain one for a start this is my one two three four eight half double crochet i'm gonna make my slip stitch on top of beginning a stitch now you're gonna uh, start doing the popcorn stitches I'll start with chain three pretend this is our first double crochet the second the third we need five and five okay we're gonna make the popcorn release your hook or remove your hook insert your hook on top of your first double crochet and pull your last double crochet make like a slip stitch then chain two okay this is your first popcorn i like the popcorn stitch by the way this is my second favorite okay for the next one we have to work eight eight popcorn stitches also for the next one is two three remember we need five four and five five double crochet remove your hook insert your hook in the first double crochet and pull your last double crochet pull through and work chain two one two so repeat your popcorn stitches until you get your eight popcorn stitches. one two three four five six seven eight after make after your chain two 
we're gonna skip our first popcorn and then here on the back in the space chain two spaces I'm gonna insert my hook and work a slip stitch but before I work the slip stitch I'm gonna switch my other color of yarn so I'm gonna complete my slip stitch with the U with the new yarn so we're going to work two popcorn stitches between each space so that means we're gonna have 16 popcorn at the end so remember let's start with chain three and this is our first double crochet three four and five five double crochet and work our popcorn stitch chain two another popcorn stitch in the same space Five, five double crochet and my slip stitch here chain two so there's two popcorn stitch in the same space I'm gonna repeat the same thing for that for each space around I complete my 16 popcorn stitches so I'm gonna make my slip stitch Remember, for the slip stitch and the popcorn stitches, we need to skip the first popcorn stitch. And in the back, that means here, we're gonna insert the hook there and work your slip stitch. But before that, I'm gonna switch my color of yarn to the cream yarn. Chain three, one, two, and three, and double crochet. Chain one, two, half double crochet in the next space. Chain one, two, single crochet here in the next space. Chain one, in the next space, two half double crochet. Chain one, and work your another corner. It was the, this is the first, the half corner. We made half corner here. So we're gonna make a whole heart corner here. Two double crochet. Chain two and two double crochet. Chain one, We make two half double crochet, chain one, two single crochet, chain one, another two half double crochet, chain one, and then our next corner. Two double crochet, two chains, and two double crochet in the same space. Repeat the pattern. Remember the corner. Uh, chain one, two, half double crochet, chain one, 
two single crochet in chain one, two half double crochet in chain one. And the corner is two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. I'm ending my last corner. So for the last corner, I'm gonna complete the two double crochet. At the beginning, we made only two double crochet, so we need to complete with that another two double crochet and chain two. And here, I'm gonna make the slip stitch to complete your corner. Okay? You can stop here if you like your granny square and this size. But for a purse, I think we need another round to make the granny square bigger. This is the difference, okay? The only one round of cream, and this has two rounds with cream. So for the next, we are going just to follow the pattern. Let's work in this corner. I'm gonna make uh, remove my hook, pull the yarn here. So I'm going to make my chain three, and then another double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet another double crochet there's two double crochet chain two and two double crochet so then we need to uh, fill this side of the granny square we are going to work in every single stitch and every single chain so I'm gonna skip this first. So the next one is this one. I'm gonna make a single uh, double crochet here. In this space, chain space, I'm gonna make another double crochet. And these two stitches, another two double crochet. One and two. Next is a space, so work and by space two, work on top of the two stitches two, work in the space and work in the two stitches two. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then work in the space here, and then you complete your eleven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're gonna stop working there. Make your corner. Chain two. I mean, double crochet two. Chain two another double crochet too and there is so you have to repeat this for the four sides of your granny square so these four stitches are the corners remember we work in the top of this in the space in the two space two space two and a space and we stop there and continue working so repeat doing the same thing okay i complete my last stitch here so this is my corner two two double chain two two double then my 11 double then here i need to uh, make the slip stitch on top of this Ok, 
Okay. Look at this beautiful popcorn granny square. I like it. I like it a lot. We finish our three types of different granny square that you can use for make your next tutorial that we are going to be doing uh, a crochet bag. Okay. This is our mixel puff and cluster. This is popcorn and this is uh, puff stitches. So please tell me in your in the comments below which one you like more. Which one is your favorite? I like this and this. And this is the third place. So whatever you like, just tell me in the comments, okay? Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope you can understand and thanks for be here until the end of the video uh, please uh, be in touch we are going to make a really beautiful and quick project for the crochet bag it's now is trending every every crochet person like is doing this so let's make let's get in the program and make the that trendy crochet bag Thank you for watching, thanks for subscribe, thanks for your likes and your comments. Thank you, bye-bye, blessings.